السلام عليكم ورحمة الله دلوقتي معايا كنترول في تيس دي كيو ميتين و كنترول والع من هنا خالص وفي قفلة من هنا على البنات الكبيرة فهنضطر ان احنا نفتح الكفر ده ونتعامل من جوة البوردة مباشرة عشان نسحب السوفت وير بتاع البوردة دي دي اللي هي القديمة اللي هنحتاج ناخد منها النسخة Hello everybody Now I'm having this control unit uh, for a Volkswagen Audi Seat doesn't matter uh, it is DQ200 sure as you see here this control unit is completely dead and is having a short circuit on it on these two power and two grounds here so uh, we need to disassemble that cover here and go directly to read from there I will show you if you go to ohm and buzzer and connect these two wires you see or you hear okay so if I take these two and connect to test here we'll bring the light it's very hard but just to let you see see short circuit also this way is a short circuit also that way also this way also this way I see All these four pins are shorted to each other. So uh, we need to disassemble that cover and cut some wires here to separate the, sh the location of the short circuit uh, from uh, the printed circuit board. So now, and also the reason why uh, this short happened is that uh, some gear oil uh, went through uh, the gasket here that's going that uh, that way okay so now I will uh, take the cover out uh, and come back again now I took uh, these screws out and now I will pop up the cover of the printed circuit board let you see what is inside and uh, this one is looking great from inside but it's, it is shorted there uh, so now I'm having uh, a chart of 
these connections where they are going and now we will cut and separate the printed circuit board from the remaining and uh, the short as you see here is on the remaining part so now I have a chart um, uh, uh, what is that, is that power and or ground or uh, whatever I know can wires are connected from there but I know the can wires are good from here so now I will get the chart and see what will happen uh, now this chart uh, is different than this printed circuit board as you see here three wires three wires two two three 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 and mine is different three 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 two two one so uh, this printed circuit board uh, this is the first time for me to see it and also I have never seen this part before on uh, that printed circuit board looks like if it is newer one and the part number is F if it is D it will be like that but here I found something by measuring with the digital multimeter you see here two capacitors and uh, four maybe or uh, yeah four small capacitor and two big ones if I measure with the multimeter here for these two points you will have a short circuit I hope you can see that well okay so this is wrong these two points shouldn't be shorted to each other so to separate the short circuit we will cut from here and there to separate the short circuit I hope you can see that well now I would measure again to make sure that the short circuit gun I will prepare uh, the two pins and come back again uh, now as you see now I'm connecting to these two points and I have the short circuit on the back on the printed circuit board not here so now I will turn this around and see uh, if the power and ground is shorted to each other or not will be on a horizontal direction okay you see the two on the right are power the two on the left are ground now I will turn it around like that and measure from here and let you know uh, now I will measure this way Still having the short circuit also on, on that one these two are shorted and these two are shorted so now I will I will look to see what I will do next 
uh, now I'm mistaken because if I uh, measure from here we already have the short circuit there so uh, now if I go to the printed circuit board as you see here I don't have anything there okay if I measure like that I have the short circuit but will not be between these two points you see uh, so now according to this diagram but I hope because it is not the same I will connect the ground there and power here and test the communication with this control unit sure I will connect power and ground directly to the printed circuit board on these pins okay separated ones now I will test and come back again uh, now I tested to connect to these two the right one is going to ground this one is going to power with the first pin there I connected to uh, this diagram and switched to power on and I didn't get the fuse blown so I'm right here and connected uh, also two can wires and uh, my programmer plug but I'm not able to communicate uh, with the, the printed circuit board till now so maybe I will need to add power there to a pin here but I will see where uh, should I connect this one so I will look for that and come back again uh, now on the right side I'm connecting ground and on the left side I'm connecting power with pin number one here the yellow wire I mean the first pin okay I tried some uh, connections but uh, some of them make the fuse blow now I will turn power still good so now I will connect the programmer and see if I can con communicate with it or not I will uh, connect with the uh, it's very hard to connect one handed but I'm afraid also to make a short circuit Now this wire is bad so I will connect it again and come back. Now I added a ground wire here and when I connect the ground from the power supply the fuse blown. So I will try ground on the left pin. Also on the left pin I have the fuse blown okay so maybe 
there is something wrong here. I want the same printed circuit board without short circuit to get the reference power and ground connections from here. But uh, now I will. I don't have it, so I will search for it. Uh, now I scratch it with the screwdriver on this part and these two upper pins you see that earlier there is a heat here and I have a short circuit between these two uh, pins so now I pry this little bit to separate them from each other and finally I don't have a short circuit if you see here and if you go there I don't have a short circuit and measuring this way I have a short circuit these two also but if you go there nothing if you go there nothing okay but the bad thing here now is I will take the cover back out again and solder the wires from here then try to communicate directly from uh, the connector and see what will happen if we will be able to communicate with it or not and now I need to solder uh, this wire uh, we already cut before now and after too much time uh, I soldered correctly these four wires we cut earlier and the idea here is that uh, you need to uh, lower the heat of the soldering iron to get cold soldering on that area because you have too much oil and uh, this material sticky material here now I measured from the point here to there here to there here to there four connections directly to the printed circuit board and everything now is connected so now I will uh, use uh, directly the connector to see if we can read the software files from it or not, or not. now I connected the power supply and is already on and the uh, two switches are on also that switch here with the fuse not blown so I connected uh, I connected the, the cable now I have a problem with this cable too so I'll connect it again and try uh, now as you see I'm able to communicate with it but I expected wrongly that this control unit is 0 CW but this one is 0 AM as you see here with uh, soldering these wires like that okay so if you go to 0 CW and identification will fail unfortunately I don't have the car here but uh, the mechanic told me that uh, this uh, control unit belongs to to, uh, to, to a car uh, with uh, 2017 so I expected that this one is 0 CW but this one is 0 AM maybe I connected everything earlier sometimes okay but anyway this how that uh, uh, control unit should work and communicate with it if it is blown 
as you see here okay thanks for watching now I will read the software files and write to a new one now the other strange thing here is that we can't read this control unit as DQ200 generation 1 we must read it as generation 2 I will show you again I struggled too much on that control unit you will need to deal with it uh, as it is uh, the newer one which will be E not F also I'm not able to read it uh, on the first generation although we identify it as 0am not 0cw it's very funny first time for me to do this make a folder as yes sir then save checksums are bad okay okay read the, the EEPROM read no switch switch nothing do it again now passing security checks verification Save. Okay. Okay. We'll try to read the micro again. No. Switch. Switch. Nothing. Switch. Off. On. I will see if I will have the checksums correct on this time or not. Two, 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 two. Save. Check sums are bad. Okay, okay. He told me that this control unit belongs to a car. Of 2017, so it should be 0CW. I don't know why we can't identify it as 0CW. It is the switch on, and I can't identify it as 0CW, but I'm able to identify it as 0AM, generation 2. PQ050 That's very strange I've never seen that before Okay, now I will see what we will do 
and continue.